about to shut the door. How sure you're going. Ow! Oh, <laughs> we have this saying, divide and conquer. It really is fitting for when we're traveling all over the world racing, and then, you know, in our off season, all over the States, training. Oh, I have a bar. There are challenges for sure. His shoes are everywhere. Best part is having somebody that makes me laugh right there all the time. Sometimes van life isn't that glamorous. Oh my God. But we usually can just make a joke out of whatever it is and, and laugh it off. We have our whole lives in here. It's just nice. I'm pulling over, I gotta pee. When we're together, we have our things that we do and we can explore different areas. And I'm always sharing this experience with her, which is really fun. Cole, there's a car coming. We're in Fayetteville, Arkansas at Centennial Park. We've actually been developing, designing, imagining this course, two and a half year project, and it's finally come to fruition. So we understand that the sport is changing. What we're trying to do is give that younger generation the technicality they need to see. That's Sevilla, that's Cole Patton. And we're bringing this new generation into 2024, 2028 Olympics and beyond. I think a lot of US courses are super mellow. Yeah. Um, whereas this one, it's demanding the whole time. Like, it's a super good addition to the US Cup circuit. This weekend, we have short track on Friday rest day on Saturday, and then the main event, which is the cross country on Sunday. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, good to see you. Likewise. Cole and Sevilla. You don't find many couples racing at an elite level, traveling around in the US in a van, and having fun, and not killing each other in a small space. <laughs> My name is Cole Patton. My name is Philia Blanc. I am originally from central Washington, Kashmir. My family owns a sporting goods store and I just grew up as the shop rat. And then I really started to fall in love with riding. I really wanted to get my education while continuing to pursue professional cycling. I grew up on kind of a small farm. I come from a family of artists. I spent a lot of my childhood working with my hands and, and learning by hand. A lot of people today ask me, like, do I do art like my, my family? And I think for me, riding and racing is kind of my art in a way. When we first met, Cole was already at Fort Lewis. I was looking into schools. I was like, there's a really awesome group of cyclists and mountain bikers. And, one of them happens to be kind of cute, so maybe I should go here. <laughs> the van was always kind of my dream. It's like, okay, Sevilla and my bike. It's all I have to worry about. And my bike. Yeah, and Sevilla's yeah, yeah. bike. <laughs> Once December hits, we're in the van until the snow melts in Durango, mm -hmm. wherever it takes us. Did you ride yesterday? The, the, course? the course? Yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> I, know. I know. I think it's helped us because we're trying to make this work and I'm in school and Cole's super busy with the team, but we're able to find that balance by, you know, dividing it up and, and conquering. Like we have, we don't have another choice. When I was 18, I got picked up by a big factory team where Sevilla also got picked up. 2020 was super hard. A lot of companies were cutting budget. At the end of the year, we got the call to part ways. <sighs> that still <Ooh>. hurts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Felt like my whole life was invested in them. We just started contacting people and we got a lot of no's. We were both like, maybe we're done. Maybe this is it. Orange Seal came in and, and picked us up and saw the value in us together. And uh, it, it literally could not have been better. We at Orange Seal are 50% on the bike, 50% off the bike. 
And podiums, they're great. Don't get me wrong, everybody loves the champagne and the thrill of victory. But it's about connecting with people. <laughs> and that's what I look for in athletes. I think I've completely shifted my mindset around racing and events since being with Orange Seal. We show up and we do our thing and there's, there's no pressure ever. All of the pressure is just internal and that's a pressure that I can manage. We are about to race short track. It's gonna be messy out there, but the messier the better. <laughs> it adds to the excitement, so. I always thought like, yeah, I wanna go to the Olympics. I wanna be a pro, but when I was younger, I don't think I really knew what that meant. Last week, it was our first day on course, just checking it out here, and there's a big drop on course, and I went off it and just went over the bars into a pavement landing and had my worst crash ever. Really lucky to walk away with no broken bones, but I opted out of racing at all last weekend and focused on this weekend. I'm gonna go warm up. Okay. Get it. Proud of you. Thanks. And you deserve to be here and you will own the course today. Thank You've you. Appreciate it. Everywhere I go, people tell me that we did a good thing by bringing Cole and Sevilla on. They're just so likable. We have the elite women taking this short track form. One of my favorite statements is, we cannot be successful until they are successful as individuals. And in Cole and Sevilla's case, as a couple. Sevilla Blanc, good strong finish. Good job. Thanks. Thanks for pouring your heart into it. Thanks. Thanks Welcome for... back. Thank you. Sunday, you'll be ready. <laughs> yeah. All right. There's a lot on the line for Sunday. We can get UCI points which are important for Olympics and our world ranking. It's true mountain bike racing. The night before, it's a lot about just relaxing and, and knowing that the work is done. You just have to focus on the task at hand and you know the reality that you're about to go all out for an hour and a half tomorrow. This is our main event. In the morning of, the nerves start to really kick in and I start to kind of get in that zone and get really focused. Slept well, had a chill night, okay. ready to rumble. We usually stop talking to each other. <laughs> That's what's so cool is like, I know how he's feeling because I've felt it. I know the space that he needs and he knows the space that I need. The jokes are not there anymore. <laughs> Something that we always tell each other is, you know, racing is just a celebration of your training. So go out there and, and show what you've been working on for months, years. Let's go, Sedalia. Smooth as fast. Let's go. Up, up, up. Sevilla is hanging on, but uh, I hope the pace slows down just a little bit because uh, they're blowing the field up. Looks like she's falling back a little, suffering hard. Come on, Sav, let's go. You gotta turn it around right now. You gotta push. Up, up, up. Move this fast. Keep it up. Sometimes you have the legs, sometimes you don't. It was a hard day, yeah. but you stayed in it though. Thanks, I tried. Yeah, you did good. There's plenty more races. Thanks for everything. <laughs> yeah, no, you did great. I know Cole and Sevilla race for each other. They race for their family and they race for us. When I see them struggling and they don't give up, it makes you proud to say that they're part of the family. At the end of the day, I just love riding my mountain bike. All right, race fans, this yeah. is about the time we start to make some noise. It's my time where 
I can be free, blow off steam. I fall in love with the sport more and more every day. Come on, you guys, come on, Cole, work together. You got this, stay in it. Being able to race, win, lose, or draw, I just love the, the vibe around the sport. Come on, way to stay in it. Let's go, let's go, come on, up, up, up. We all as humans, when we fail, we wanna, we wanna crater, we wanna go hide, and they don't. You don't find that very often. <laughs> I, I just love being a part of the mountain bike community and racing allows me to do that on a much higher level. Good work, you guys. Oh man, that's high. Oh, it's so high. An orange seal is, it's like being part of a family. Everyone on the team is intertwined together and being part of that family makes us feel like we're part of something much bigger than just being racers out on the course. <laughs>